Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 27th February 2019, the Pakistan Air Force launched Operation Swift Retort in order to save the humiliating blow impacted by Indian Air Force a day before during Balakot strike killing 200 to 350 terrorists. Indian Air Force 2 Su-30 MKI was dwelling against eight F-16 fighters of Pakistan Air Force. The flankers were operating in defensive mode in order to dodge the incoming AMRAMs. While Su-30s escaped the volley of AMRAM fired at them, they were unable to retaliate because they were not equipped with PVR missiles which could engage Pakistani fighter jets from long range. During that time, Su-30 MKI was only equipped with R-27R, R-73 and R-77 air-to-air missiles. The most advanced of them is R-77 having maximum range of just 80 km. The Indian Air Force realized this basic capability gap in modern aerial engagement and planned to upgrade its fleet of Su-30 MKI with VVR missiles which could compete with Pakistan Air Force. This led to the fast-track integration of indigenous Astra Mark I and Israel's IDRB ER or Extended Range Missiles. India has purchased the IDRB ER missile from Israel in 2020 under emergency mode during the India-China standoff in Galwan Valley. IDRB ER missile is a long-range air to missile with an operational range of up to 100 km which matches with AIM-120C missile used in Pakistan's F-16. The Su-30 MKI's fleet is expected to be armed with IDR missile by 2022. Samir Joshi, the former Indian Air Force officer and the founder of New Space Research and Technologies, has recently shared an image of Su-30 MKI integrated with IDRB missile. India has also test-fired IDR missile from LC Tejas in Goa in April 2021. In addition, Su-30 MKI has also been upgraded to fire Astra Mark I, an indigenous BVR missile. Astra Mark I has slightly better range and speed when compared to Derby ER and AIM-120C missiles. While Derby ER's maximum range is 100 km and maximum speed is Mach 4, Astra can be fired at a maximum range of 110 km and has maximum speed of Mach 4.5. Astra Mark I and Derby ER both are going to be standard BVR missile of Indian Air Force for a long time until Astra Mark II clears its developmental and user trials. At the same time, Pakistan has upgraded its fleet of fighter jets with new Chinese 4.5th generation fighter jet J-10C. The fighter jet has been inducted in March 2022. The J-10C features 145km range PL-15E beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile which is more than that of Astra Mark I or IDRB ER. However, the real specification of Chinese missiles has always been questionable. PL-15 and IDRB ER are similar in terms of propulsion as both use dual pulse rocket motor. However, PL-15 missiles are having bigger dimension and overall size which explain its greater range than IDRB ER missile. Pakistan Air Force had even better advantage during Operation Swift Retort. Evidence shows that Pakistan Air Force launched more than four AIM-120C AMRAMs against Su-30 MKI, and the Su-30 MKI was able to dodge the AIM-120C missile with the effective deployment of chaff and flares along with its ELL-8222 airborne self-protection jammer coupled with aggressive defensive maneuvers. The Su-30 MKIs were equipped with short-range R-27 or R-77 air-to-air missile with maximum range less than 80 km. Even with numerical superiority and with much better BVR missile, F-16s were unable to bring down a single Su-30 MKIs. While the skill of fighter pilots matters the most during any aerial skirmish, Extra range gives them much better edge over adversaries. Therefore, Indian Air Force and DRDO must expedite the integration of Astra Mark II and Mark III missiles because this time India definitely don't want to play defensive. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. 
Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.